What's up guys? How's it going? So today we're going to be working on buttoning up some of this stuff with these two scooters right here. We're going to be boxing this scooter up here for my buddy. This is really cool. It's not an actual go-ped per se. It's actually, I think it's called Scooter X or something along those lines, but it has rear suspension for being a hard tire and the front suspension up there as well. Anyways, I originally had plans to build this scooter up. I, I just got way too much going, you guys. I'm actually selling off the Corvette pedal because I've been so busy. So, anyways, you guys, let's get this thing packaged up, get these buttoned up. So he doesn't want the wheels, or no, he wants the, he wants the wheels, he doesn't want the pole, he doesn't want the cables, he doesn't want just a little miscellaneous guy. He basically just wants the frame and the deck. So let's go ahead and box it up for him. The deck. Now that is how you pack a scooter up. You know, look at the Viper Pet over here. I'm not too sure this motor is actually going to work for the Viper Pet. I mean, all this blue anodizing. I mean, it's beautiful and all, but I mean, the freaking pet's yellow. <laughs> We're going to have to do something about this blue, you guys. All right. Back to it. Finish up a few last little finishing touches on the Corvette pad today. Now that I'm uh, rested and ready to uh, do some surgery. Let's do it. This is the kind of chain loop I use. It's made by Maxima. It's good, pretty good stuff right here. I got a video on my channel somewhere about how to properly lube your chain up. We'll do another quick one right now. Spin your wheel here and I always aim it downward. Don't aim upward like this. Right on there. We'll give it a couple more spins, making sure we're getting plenty of lubrication on the chain. Also, you want to make sure your chain's not too tight. I got a couple tight spots in here, but we'll get those worked in as the chain is fairly new. So after you leave your chain up, I'm going to take my towel here, just kind of give it a quick wipe on the underside of the chain. Couple things before I forget. Cannot, cannot forget the blue gas tank cover and cannot forget the matching blue air filter. Ooh wee, I don't know about you guys, but that's starting to look like a dang good pet right here. You know what guys, before I post up a price of how much I think I'm going to sell it for, let me get your guys' input on what you think this pet is worth. We've got the, this, this frame's a GSR 46 frame first off with a lot of heavy modifications. Got all the um, anti-bar spin tab here. Got all the custom Corvette stickers on here. We got the frame cable clamp, HD bearing cups, all the stickers down the side right there. We got the Avid BB7 Road calipers. Got the matching blue wheels. Just the stock Mad Dog rotors, unfortunately. That's the only thing I was going to upgrade, which I didn't get around to. Of course, we got the beautiful custom Corvette deck. Of course, got the gas tank cover. Got the Zero Air gas cap. Carbon fiber fender. If any of you guys are interested, feel free to hit up Corey Jared. He's the guy that does all this right here. He just needs a fender is all. Got the billet goat ped motor mount. Now this, it's not clean. I don't know if you guys can see it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. This is not a, a nickel plated. This is actually a chrome plated 
Jet Pro Race Rhino pipe, of course, with the heat wrap right here so you don't burn your leg. This was a, uh, took quite a bit of a little time to wrap this up. Turned out real nice. Coming around to the back, this is a brand new stock GP460 directly from GoPed. Of course, got the blue air filter, of course, gotta have that. Out here in the back, got the BB7 road calipers. Of course, got the, you guys can see in there, the PSWS Rocket Sprocket 68 tooth. Blue, it's brand new. Got the, all the rear ends capped off. All the welds have been finished up on the ped. Tires are basically brand new. You can still see the knobbies on there. Back tire is almost brand new as well. So, there it is, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what I should post it up for. Oh, of course, this will come with a uh, number plate. It will come with this exact number plate. Before I forget, it's got the DDM race pole and factory go pit um, handlebars that have been um, anodized black. Of course, got this the factory levers up top over here. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, how much it's supposed to up for, what you guys think a fair price is. And as always, guys, don't forget to big old thumbs up on the video and subscribe. See you guys next time.